Hey, what is up guys, iDevice Help here, and Apple today released iOS 10.2 Beta 1 to registered developers as of right now, no public beta testing. The new software comes in, build number 14C5062E. And we do have some new changes with this software and I'm happy to announce, let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing I wanna talk about is something that we were anticipating. I didn't think they were gonna come, but now they're here. New wallpapers, finally Apple added new wallpapers. There they are, right there, the three new wallpapers for the iPhone 7. Uh, and you can see here, additional wallpapers as well. So finally, we did get those wallpapers that I was talking about for the last couple of weeks we finally see those on iOS 10.2 beta 1 the videos application also now received an update with added widgets so now you can add a widget for your videos and it'll appear on your widget section of course here inside of your widgets panel once you swipe to the right of iOS Apple also added a new preserve settings for your camera settings if you scroll down you now have a preserve settings right here you can adjust a particular camera mode that's gonna be the camera mode that's always gonna be active depending on which one you set it to you also have preserved filters and a live photo so you can adjust these settings individually and every time you launch the camera it'll activate those features without you having to go and use those settings yourself there's also some new emojis available on iOS 10.2 as you can see there the new emoji right there keep scrolling over you see that new emoji right there there's at least 10 or 9 new emojis as you can see here uh, so once you guys download it you can browse through all of these emojis and I'll link you guys down below to the entire list of new emojis but there are some new emojis available with an iOS 10.2 they're really cool emojis. I think they also look a little different for some reason. They have more color. They pop a little more in my opinion. But yeah, new emojis is part of iOS 10.2. If we go into the general and we scroll down to where it says the home button option here under accessibilities, you'll find some new options for the home button. Not new options, but more rather new ways you can activate or deactivate the home button to do certain things. So if you hold and press to speak to Siri, you can do that now, or you can use the voiceover or turn it off right then in there that new option right here is now available so you don't have to individually turn on or off Siri for voiceover or voice control or Siri so that's a new option there for Siri and home button actions inside of the messages application we now have a new effect a celebration effect once we scroll over as you can see right here it'll show up here in a few seconds and one more time and there it is a new celebration effect right there inside of the messages application is now available as well built into watch os if you press and hold you have your emergency sos right there so if you activate that automatically the emergency services will be contacted but also now this time around with ios 10.2 emergency services plus whoever you have as an emergency contact will be notified that something is not right when you activate the emergency feature sos all in all finally we get some real software enhancements with ios 10.2 the software performance is identical to previous versions that's why I'm not going to really talk about the performance in this video we'll compare it to future iOS 10.2 beta software releases but there you guys have it Apple is now finally starting to roll out additional features no dark mode as of yet I'm still hoping for that here in the future towards the end cycle of iOS 10 hopefully that does come to fruition I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update on iOS 10.2 release to developers today it's been iDevice help have a great day and I will catch you guys on the next one Peace.